So these are the classifications or the uh, things which we will be using for NLP, why we select NLP Cloud uh, specifically. One is that Drupal has like this node system and everything, we need to create blocks and everything. But sometimes one, when a content editor comes and they want 
they should have like all the data. Like if I am going to come and write about, uh, let's say our camp uh, that yeah we had attended camp and everything, you just give it a two or three lines of word sentence and this uh, in a big cloud service will generate a whole blog out of it. Other than that, classifications same. Uh, if you write a blog, uh, you need to find out that whom this blog can be served so that it is relevant to those people. Of course, we don't want this Drupal content to go in some uh, other person who is not very interested. It, will, it should go to like how Twitter and every uh, person apps and system goes that we, they serve only things which are uh, relevant to us. Uh, so I am a Drupal person, Twitter obviously try to feed me with Drupal tweets and everything. Uh, so that's something classification. Uh, headline generation is simple too, like you write the blog content, but I have no idea what the headline should sound like. It should be like good for social networking, good for SEO. So that AI, AI can do that, and then cloud can do that. It has a different module for that, specifically doing this task. Um, keyword key phrases are something that SEO needs, like if it's a blog with Drupal Camp, so the keywords should be Drupal and others like. PHP, those are keywords with Google or any search engine will look for that. This is the content which can be served to people who are following the content. Um, yeah, other than that, um, I'll skip this one. Um, so there are few modules which are required to implement this in any, any of the like uh, Drupal code base. One is Augmenter. Uh, it is very like pluggable system. Um, so when the AI boom started, you might have seen there are a lot of modules. ChatGPT had a separate module, somebody developed it. Uh, then Google Bard came in and somebody developed a specific module for Google Bard. But it was not connected, this was all like scattered around. But here comes Augmenter, which you can specifically create different AI tools. It's very like pluggable. You can you have a common form. Uh, if you need to overwrite something, you can do that. It's very, pretty simple. But yeah, it's, it's something um, more females developers, Naveen and Elio has developed to start up with them. Uh, there is a Slack channel for this if you want to know more uh, on Drupal Slack. Uh, they are very active there. Um, yeah, that's something I was talking about. Um, Augmenter has very, very simple system right now. The most popular one I like ChatGPT, ChatGPT uh, for chat as well, and then we cloud for like for a specific module or specific logic related um, things. Um, any any other, uh, other tool which may or may not come out in a few years that can be like used in computer. Yeah, it's pretty useful. Uh, you should check out if you want to do something in Drupal and AI. Uh, this is a very famous module which also is needed for this to work, uh, which is it, it's a simple module which you can like straight away uh, go to the next slide. You will you can work out a workflow and this is like UI based. You can drag and drop and make this workflow with this diagram things. And that will be generated that will be generating a, a format of files which can be like, exported to Drupal and anything. It's a very useful tool. It's like out of the box just include this and then you can plan your workflow for that. Uh, I, I will show you why we need this. Um, again this is a tool which these actions can be done in bulk. Right? If I am planning an action that if a node is saved in, in some conditions, this action should happen. But I need that all the nodes in dot that content type should do that or action. So this is a tool. Uh, this is a module which does that bulk operations. Uh, yeah, this is the UI which we get uh, when you see a content listing page. Uh, we get, uh, you can select the all the nodes which are required to do this action. This um, yeah, it's, it's an overview of like how Drupal is working with all these various things. Uh, firstly, like uh, there is ChatGPT and NP Cloud, which are like external things. Then we have uh, Visible Editor, Field Widget, and uh, these are the things where we can integrate this AI concept in Drupal. Um, and of course, the actions and everything that they're much more detailed in. So, Let's just this this is something interesting. I will I hope <laughs> this will work. Uh, that's why I have made a video for that.
So I have pre-recorded this one. Like it's it's also uh, borrowed from the uh, existing slides which are present. Uh, uh, these slides are also given in some other tutorial camp, and I have borrowed from that. Um, it's it's fabulous. So yeah, uh, first we will see the augmenter. What it is all about. What I am talking about. Uh, I will pause in various places where it is needed. So yeah, this is the augmenter page. It comes in the configuration. Uh, it, as you can see, uh, there are like list of augmenters uh, which can be specific to something. Like there is one apps chat GPT, which is simple apps chat GPT, and it will return something. There is summarization. There is a blog which some there is a uh, node or entity which has a block but there is another field which is summarization and the summarization is needed when you post something on social media you need a short description first so that is not required that a human come and write it because we have AI and everything right now so just click off a button the summarized field can be generated and the node will be saved something like that there are more like blog generation which I would write write an article give it a heading it will write an article for that so these are the various augmenter and as you can see you have to think what you want and you can create that one so you plug and play uh, no need to write a very score uh, these are the list of like augmenter which can be supported which are like which tools or which MI, uh, AI tools can be supported one is chat GPT we will specifically talking about NLP cloud and chat GPT today the rest there are a lot of more things uh, there are like text to speech conversion in Drupal itself you don't need to use any third party it can be like configured in start working. Of course you have to have those API access, some are paid, some are not paid. Okay, uh, yeah, we can see one in detail. Um, yeah, we say that this is an open AI again chat GPT for it, uh, which module or so when you go to this documentation of this uh, AI tools, you will find various modules for that. Uh, like the latest one is ChatGPT 4, which is paid one, and uh, there are like more versions of it. So that also comes with this module options that you can choose. Um, um, in this field, we can we say that what you need to do, what what is the prompt for that the input which we will get in. That's the problem. This is the part where it gets the input. Like if it's in blog, the input will come in blog. Okay. Yes. There are various uh, tools for that. Again, uh, this one comes with the blog generation, which which is using NLP Cloud. Uh, NLP Cloud doesn't have much option because it is specifically done, that module is specifically built for blog post. So just we need to select that and uh, that module and it starts working. Uh, we, we can, uh, this is the event condition uh, action module which I talked about which is the chart flow they have created. Uh, it's very like easy to understand and easy to create. Here you can see that there is a node preserve option. This is a node preserve option. Uh, like it says that if a node is saved, then then do this, then do this, then do this, then be like that. And this this is this generated um, configuration file which can be like used in uh, different places. This is a very useful tool. It's, it doesn't specifically work. It's not recorded. It's only for this. Demo purposes, you can use it in different projects and you should explore this one. I will not go in much depth in this. Okay. Uh, yeah, so right now you are seeing a screen where we are trying to create an article. No. Yeah, here you can 
see, I have given it a little bit of information that this is something we are going to write about a blog, and uh, here are the augmenter options. I will ask ChatGPT to write something more in detail, and uh, yeah, sending request to ChatGPT has all the prompt knowledge and it's coming back, so take some time. Again, another reason to do this, I got it that sometimes the internet issue is there, sometimes something breaks. So that's why it's a good option to record it. Excellent. Yeah, as you can see, it filled up the whole blog. It gave you all the details what was needed. I will also show, I will try to show the live example as well. And again, we have those data already in our body. We have another field which is a generated head, generate heading and it will give, it, give us a good heading for that. No need to like worry about something. Again, summary details can, it will all, it is all taking the body content and trying to understand that what we are looking for. Social message, again, for things when we do it about it, it has a separate field and it's just summarizing the whole body content to just put it in a way that it's very eye-catching for social media posts. This is all like done by uh, in a big crowd. It can also identify that which audience is should be served. And I hope yeah. it will try to like these are the options for this uh, options. Uh, Drupal and AI can do 
and how our existing content can be updated. Yeah. Uh, this was very high level. So if you have some question, everything you can shoot me in Twitter and uh, Slack as well. Uh, other than yeah, if you have anything you need to ask, or anything, that's all I have. Uh, I still this not working. <laughs> this all depends on internet. So that's it. Uh, the chat, so it's your option, like, uh, I showed an empty cloud because it has very narrower options, like to block, submit blocks and everything, but chat is very, like, open playground, like, you have to say to it, like, yeah, I need blog for this context of text, uh, like, it's very wide variety, and an empty cloud is very much, like, narrow, so that's why you have options, if you, are confident that you can achieve that with chat and the augmented module is very much available, it's very open, uh, that can be achieved. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.